Welcome in to Read-only memories, neuro driver, pilot memory. Uh, this is technically, I guess, considered a demo for the upcoming read-only memories neuro driver game. But I thought I'd, I'd do it anyway. It's just a demo, so this might be a very uh, short stream. But let's get to it. We will play this in English. Ah, uh, is this the menu? Oh, we're just, it's just the starts. I'd love to watch some TV right now, but I need to focus on memorizing this menu. Oh, hang on. Ah, hey, settings. That's like half the thing. Oh, oh no, that's very small. <clears throat> let's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. All right. The manual, we need to memorize the manual. This is the Neurodiverse user menu. Menu is putting it lightly though, since a lot of it is works in theory. <laughs> uh, hang on. I wanna do a thing. I wanna do a thing! Thing being, uh, you know. The TTS, I need to put it back on. There we go. Now you all should have TTS. <coughs> but I need to memorize, well, basically all of it to prepare for my Neurodiver certification exam tomorrow. So apparently this is us, ES88. I've already used the Neurodiver in a handful of control tests with other espers. But I won't have authorization for any real world use until I get this exam out of the way. I have a message. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. Oh, okay. Hey, I've lost a follower, nice. I've lost a member of the fame. Where's my... Hello, Twitch? How do people go on Twitch? Oh, I just closed the whole damn thing. What the fuck? Dude, Rathian has almost 300 viewers. What the fuck is happening? I do not want to miss out on that. Anyway. So. I've got to uh, gotta power through this. Oh. Uh, I hate reading. Oh no, it's the star fucker face all over again. I guess highly classified documentation for cutting edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audio book. That's not. The Neurodiver? Yep, that's you. The Neurodiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human Esper. An Esper? <laughs> yes, that's me. An Esper can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host, via the Neurodiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. <laughs> Just rest in my eyes, I'll keep reading in a second. <coughs> okay, gotta stay focused. The Neurodiver, oh, wow. The Neurodiver also allows for the defragmentation of the host's memory. Should any corruption or fragmentation exist by any of the following means. 
neurological disease such as Alzheimer's disease. See Appendix 14, for example, or XIV. Uh, physical trauma such as concussion. See Appendix XV, for example. Psychological trauma. Blah, blah, blah. The neurodiver also shows promise in reversing psychic trauma as inflicted by Esper psionics. However, due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper psionic powers, there is only anecdotal evidence at this time. <laughs> oh, hello? Who this? Gate? Hey, yes, I did. Saw. Gates. It's the weekend, so you don't have to use my code name, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Luna. Luna. I like the name. I like the name a lot. Still studying for NeuroDirect. <clears throat> Still studying for the NeuroDiver certification exam, huh? Yeah, I did fine on the field test the other day. But trying to cram all of these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. You'll get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Why I'm doing this? I sort of have to do it, Gate. It's my job. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a reason you're here at Minerva. What's Minerva? Also, what is happening here? I just noticed. What happened? And the reason you want to become a better Esper by using the Neurodiver. Why I want to become a better Esper? Why do I want to become a better Esper? To help people? Sounds about right. With the Neurodiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic, but I hope with the Neurodiver I can help someone better remember someone or something dear to them. I think that's... I like how they just lively as blob. Some kind of psychic therapist then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. That seems like the right reason to me. Thanks, Kate. Anytime, ES88. Luna! Why did you switch to my code name? Well, actually, we have a guest. Is this the guest? I have someone here for you to meet. Yep, that is that was him. Those are the same eyes. Whoa, he's <laughs> he's a furry. <laughs> He's huge! Huge ego, maybe. This is Crow. Wow, your eyes really are golden. Whose eyes are we talking about? None of these eyes are golden. <laughs> uh, hi? Sorry, I've never seen an Esper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but... I guessed. Oh. 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 There it is. I didn't even realize. Now I do. I guess they're a dead giveaway. Kind of like how I know you're a hybrid just by looking at you. Hmm. Duche. Bro, this is ES88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? I'm an expert already. <laughs> She'll be diving into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten. 
Oh, shit. Excuse me? Expert? I'm still figuring it out. Still, still figuring it out. <laughs> so modest. No, no, it's just... I'm not... Uh... ES88 is the best neurodiver user at Minerva, which is to say, the world. We're the best? I'm the best at something? Bull. Bull. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Hang on, best message. And she was just saying how she hopes to use the neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. <laughs> this is more of a problem with something I've found, but I can't remember why I had it. Oh, hear that? Yes, I did. A psychic mystery. Can I just... Gate, can, can we talk for one sec? Privately? Sure. One sec, bro. bro. Take your time. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this guy? Just an old buddy of mine from the war. The war? That was a war? You mean the war during which you were a soulless machine programmed to kill? Damn. Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. What war are we talking about? Isn't this supposed to be a... Uh, well, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we will indeed find out. this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax. Grow his stuff as nails. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war would be legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him, he's built to withstand anything. <clears throat> well, there he is. And this is coming from me, an android literally built to withstand anything. Is he also an android? Physical power is one thing. We're talking about his mind here. Potential psychic trauma. Relax, he already knows the risks, and he's fine with it. Right, bro? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's true. Gate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it, really. I mean, if you understand the risks, then I guess it's okay. Did pretty much recite the manual on the way here, so I can say I have an exhaustive knowledge of the risks, in fact. The manual, so you actually know more than us? Is that what you're saying? Gate, do you have this whole manual memorized? More like download it, but yeah. <sighs> what I wouldn't give for Gate's cyber brain sometimes. Besides, I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case anything goes wrong. If anything starts looking weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Well, that's convenient. Blorp. 
Look at that. The Nero Diver is ready to go, too. Okay. Okay. I can do this. We can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? Yes. First things first. Tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure. It's actually something that happened about 10 years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing odd jobs to get some quick cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. Busan? That's in uh, South Korea, right? I think so. The details are really fuzzy, but I do remember that, for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. Some friends. I'll admit that isn't out of character for me, but... I wouldn't do that to those guys. Maybe. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that anywhere. Not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? That's what I assumed, yeah. It ended up being a real sore spot between us all, and we actually haven't spoken since. For... for 10 years? What made you question it now? Well, I was cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. So you remember the clothes you were wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? But it gets weirder. What the fuck am I looking at? I found this in... Oh. I found this in one of the pockets. Shadow cut. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what they call the... Fuck, I forget what the sport is called. But the thing you whack <laughs> with the bat. It's like tennis, but not at all. You know what I mean, maybe. Badminton, that's the, that's the sport. It looks like a shadow cock. <laughs> Why is it named the shadow cock? <laughs> a what? You know, like for badminton? You like badminton? No. No. Anyway, take a look at this. The information I was selling, this is it. On this job. On this chip here. Okay. But I remember clearly trading this thing to the buyer for the money, and then giving that money, all of it, to my friends. But if you have it here with you, that obviously didn't happen how you remember it, huh? What do you think, Psychic Therapist ES88? You think you can help Pro work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a corrupted memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure. What do I have to do? First, lift off your sleeve so the neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Then stay still and try to relax. Huh, okay. Alright, now let's get this neurodiver out of its capsule. Now you'll probably feel something. Ugh. Ugh, why does it have to look like that? Oh god. That's kind of nasty. Don't forget your catchphrase, CS88. We have a catchphrase? What is it? My what? You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive? Oh, um... <laughs> we can sound cool, 
confident or commanding. I like confidence. I'm a big fan of confidence. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like confidence. <laughs> it's time to do 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 time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was with that stutter? No, I was trying to. Never mind, never mind. Starting dive. That was so fucking awkward. Okay, so now we're in his memory. I guess these are Crow's friends. Friends. We get Sparrow, we get Owl, and we get Hawk. Makes sense that he's also named, uh, what call it? Crow. I'm pretty sure it's night time, but you can barely tell with all the lights on the outside. Oh, he's a very young looking dude now. Uh, hey guys. Wait, bro? Bro? They don't recognize you? This was the first night they saw me after I became a hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Got it. You certainly made a... a big change. Hmm. What's the matter, Hog? Angry that the round is finally your size? <laughs> I just think he looks like... Uh, like a watch. He looks like kind of a freak, if you gotta know. Is it because he looks like a parent? <coughs> I look better than you, asshole. <laughs> Dude. Hey, no backseat driving. Er, diving. Yeah, no backseating. Also a rule here. I'll do the talking for you, based on what was going through your mind at the time. That's how it works. <laughs> I mean... Keep you waiting, huh? Sorry about that. Oh, don't apologize, crow. We just got started. Listen to this guy. Three drinks is in is just getting started. Hey, they may call us the old birds, but we can still handle, our handle ourselves. <laughs> you guys had some business you wanted to do here, right? What's the rush, bro? Let's have a round together. Yeah, come on, loosen up. Okay, what are we drinking? I'm glad you asked. And hey, now that the kid's here, we can order the special, right? Gage! Hello, friend. What's going on? How are you doing? Oh, right. Take a look at this, bro. It says, New Year special. Celebrate unification with the Manseju cocktail. Manseju? Oh, what's man say? <laughs> oh, man said you. Well, I, I, I almost got it right. I think it's pronounced more like man say. Hey, see? I was right. That's what I said, man say. <laughs> Damn it. Sure. Anyway, it means, oh, you know. Banzai. Salute. Life. We did just get out of a war, you know? Folks are feeling celebratory. <laughs> did you 
you call me here just to read a poster for you? Huh. I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, you're lucky we invited you out at all. That's enough, Hawk. Go ahead and order a round of these Mansa juice, bro. Then we can get the business. What New Year's special fire? Eh? Press the I key or the inventory button on the bottom of the corner of the screen to view your inventory. I would love to. Flyer advertising the special Manseju cocktail available for a limited time in celebration of the end of the war. Okay. Can I do something with it? Guess not. Wow! Ooh, a melodic. Now that's a real beaut. How do I use it? This is the only thing that happens if I left click and right clicking does nothing. The work. But I ordered the drink, bro. How did you do that? Can I back out? Oh, maybe that's how you do it. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those strings. Right click and drag to explore. Alternatively, you can also use A and D keys, arrow keys, or the arrow buttons on the sides of the screen. Probably use the key, uh, the, uh, these ones. Whoa, that's trippy. Hello? I'm going to assume that this is a fragmented memory, not a literal giant baby working the bar. Oh, looks like I'm on my own here. I guess there's a memory fragment, let's see. According to my studies, the neurodiver allows me to repair these fragments using something closely related to it. Mm. Oh! The flyer led him over to this spot, maybe I could try that? I just gotta grab the item and stick it under this big weird baby, kinda like a batch. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. Repair! Hey, that looks better. I did it! What the hell? Why was this guy showing up as a giant baby? <clears throat> well, your brain is trying its best to make a complete memory here. So in the absence of data, it's going to try and fill that void with something. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'll be something that was emotionally striking. Doesn't that mean he's acting like a baby? The barkeep? Emotionally striking? The memories depend on emotional connect connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragments. I guess you have a soft spot for cute little babies. Ugh. Well, it's fixed now, so let's never talk about this again, okay? <laughs> Saw, dude. Four of these Manseju cocktails. Hmm. Please? You have to order it correctly, with spirit. Spirit? Really? Manse! Manse! You're saying I gotta throw my arms over my head to get my drinks? We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. Okay, fine. 
Keep going. Oh my god. Just give us the goddamn drinks, mate. Excuse me? You wanted four drinks, right? <laughs> Told you he'd get him to do it. They put you up to all that, didn't they? Nice work, J1. That's your actual name. <laughs> Anyway, here's the drinks. They're already on the older guy's tab. Who's the... Oh, yeah, the... Yeah. Yay, four months of Jew cocktail. <laughs> here's the goddamn drink. One to Sparrow. Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic out there. Owl, this one's for you. Thanks, girl. Thanks for the uh, entertainment. Here, Hawk. Thanks, kid. Glad to see you can still take a joke. Jombe. Yeah, let's do Jombe. Whatever that is. Jombe! What's that one mean again? I'm sure you can guess. Cheers, Hawk. Oh yeah, go, go and bay. How is your Korean so bad after all this time? Well, excuse me if I was too busy keeping your asses alive to crack open a book. You're probably the one who acclimated the best out of any of us, huh, bro? <clears throat> Will I actually miss it here? Sure. I think I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war, for sure. But I was getting used to the place. Same here. It's been a nice change of scenery, despite everything. You two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met, after all. Even if it was... Manze! Manze! Huh. Someone else ordered the special, sounds like. More Manze! Whoa! Huh? I think I just felt something shift in the memory. It's... Hawk shot it. Do you know the guy who just ordered or something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Well, excuse me if I didn't reckon... Hawk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? It's buying information. Um, which one of us was holding that chip? Oh, sorry, um, which one of us uh, was holding that chip? Oh, yeah, here. That's a chip. It does look like a shuttlecock. It's, uh, what is this thing again, Hawk? You're asking me? It's called a... J J Jaggy? Jaggy? Sure, we're gonna go with Jaggy. Is that what the guy by the darts is playing? Oh, it looks like it, yeah. The game is called Jaggy Chuggy. You kick the Jaggy up into the air, then the next player in the group has to kick it to keep it in the air. Oh, I see. Last one to not let it drop wins. Sparrow is real proud of her plan for hiding the data chip, if you couldn't tell. I am, actually. I had the data chip in here so it'd be less conspicuous of a handout. 
put it down. Well, all you're bragging about it is making it pretty conspicuous. <laughs> Fine. So that's it. Give this Jeggy, that guy who just walked in. Yep, and he gives us a big pile of money. Simple a deal as they come. Looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, girl. Here I go. I've got this. You're probably the only one in the right uh, state of mind to pull this off right now. State of mind. I mean, we've had a few rounds before you came here, bro. And besides, with your new uh, modifications, you're easily the most intimidating of the four of us now. Also, best message. that supposed to mean? I'm just as, in as intimidating as Crow. Way more. Mm. Hey, even if you were, you're not even half as sober. Here, Crow. Got Jaggy. We'll head out once you sit down with the buyer and meet you later at the usual rendezvous. Okay. Ooh, hello. I think I need to fix this. Another fragment. Central would be impressive if they installed a tree in here that fast, huh? <laughs> it would, oh, I never realized that was a tree. I don't know what that what I thought that was, but not a tree. <laughs> really can't seem to sink well at all with the host when I observe these. My own again, I guess. Now I wonder what I could use to repair this. Hmm, maybe I don't have everything I need to unlock this memory yet. Okay, well. Wait. Are you the dude? This must be the Jaggy Jaggy game that Crow's friend mentioned. Hey. You want in on this? Uh, sorry? Come on, I'll play you for a round of drinks. Maybe something this person said or did will be the key to the encrypted memory fragment over there. Maybe. Just keep it off the ground, right? First one to drop the Jackie loses. You've got it. Ready? You actually have to play. Sure. I'll win. Show off a win. Oh, you got me. So all that What's the Jaggy stuff? You were bluffing, huh? <laughs> Honestly, I've never played before. Well, either way, it seems like I owe you a drink. What are you having? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm actually here with... What the hell is he doing up there? Vigilon! What's up, dude? Welcome in. How are you? How's your uh, start of the week, sir? Oh, keep it down. You're being way too conspicuous. You're being too conspe cons speculative. Cons constipated. Constipated? Bad start. Oh, man. Why? What's happening? What happened? So we're already here with some friends, huh? 
Oh, don't worry about these those guys. They just like to complain. They look pretty thirsty. Uh, that's one way to put it, I guess. There's no problem, really. I was actually on my way out before I saw you. Had no power all night? Ah, uh, oh yeah, I think I read that on Swar's stream last night. That sucks, man. Do you have power now? Any, uh, any progress on that? Why don't you take this Jake as a souvenir? Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Hm. I'll beat you next time, you got that? Mm, we'll just see about that. Wasn't fun at all. I feel that. I know I'd get bored out of my mind if I didn't have something. Well, as long as I had a battery on my phone, I guess it would be alright. Get back in the morning? Well, that's good. That is good. Wow, crowd is way smoother with random... <clears throat> good lord. Crow is way smoother with random bar encounters that I could ever hope to be. Hey, same here. The Jeggy. It's a different color, Jeggy. So can I now use the... All of these? Yay! Oh, that's the dude. Yes, that was it. At least I think it did. It did what? Pro? This kid. I'm heading out to grab some lunch and this little shrimp was struggling to get his kite down from a tree. And then out of the goodness of your heart, you helped him out and used your cat-like reflexes to sweat it out of the tree. <laughs> I guess not. I admired the determination and plucked it out. He was covered in sweat, snot coming out of his nose. Awful. Didn't even thank me, just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Well, that's all cleared up now. Looks like we got someone waiting at the table. That's the stranger. The stranger. <laughs> the stranger. Oh no. No stuff in my nose. Not good. Oh wow. What a weird looking person. Hey, I'm here. Say no more! You're here for a deal, yes? I sure am. Oh. How did I know what you were going to ask? Well, Crow, I know plenty of things. Lovely. I have your interest and you have the information I want. Come, have a seat. Let's get this straight over with quickly then, if you don't mind. Do I make you uneasy, Crow? A little bit. Does it seem like I know too much? Normally I don't talk feelings with clients, but yeah, man, you're freaking me out a little. Do you know what an Esper is, Crow? Oh. That person is Esper as well, just like us. Never heard of it. You should never deprive yourself of educa education, bro. You never know when you might need that little bit of information. I'm just here to make a sale, that's it. School's out for summer. <laughs> School's out for summer. Or, alternati alternatively, I get school. It's not funny. I get school. An Esper is an individual who possesses psychic abilities. Each one unique, each one varying in power level. It's over 9000! 
power level is over 9000. Espers as we know them are the result of mutation. Wait, e so ES88, aka Luna, is also mutated? Randomly occurring, with some Esper not even understanding the extent of their power. But there have been many advances in the study of Espers, done in secret. There is no information on how to produce them. And that, Crow, is the information you're going to give me tonight. Give nothing, pal. This is a sale. I'm happy to walk if you disagree. I said what I meant, Crow. You're going to give me that information. Oh no. And why would I do that? How are they gonna use their powers on us? Because I'm an Esper myself, Crow. Granted, not a true one. I was hybridized in an attempt to gain some Esper power. Bully for you. Bully? No interrupting my monologue! <clears throat> The information you've concealed in that jeggy, cute trick by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange plan. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, no. Is that what happened? When in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. I just walk out. Will it actually? I wonder if it actually matters what we tell them in this one. I'm sure it will in the full full release, full release of read-only memories. Neuro driver, neuro diver. Sorry, I'm neuro driver. I think I've actually called it Neuro Driver, and I just realized it's actually Diver. Hang on, <laughs> I want to see if I put it as Neuro Driver on uh, my Discord. Oh no, I did. It's Neuro Diver. Neuro Diver, you little shit. Anyway, uh, let's get back. Well, I am interested in how it works, so... How are we gonna do that? You're gonna start thinking real hard or something? Oh, it's already done, Crow. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, that actually scared me a little. <laughs> That's loud. I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's amazing how much of our, our reality is shaped by our memories. Hmm. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. Good night, crow. Whoa. What's happening? He really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory was so messed up. <laughs> ah, the link with the neurodiver is just destabili destabilizing. You too, okay? I'm fine, bro. I feel like I have a brain freeze, but yeah, it seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you enter the dive gate from out here? The neuro diver was looking a little sick, so I gently pulled them off and put them back in the capsule the rest. That's fair enough. <laughs> Good old block. So, did you get the bottom of gross information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. 
that, did you? After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong Jaggy in my other pocket. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, you dumbass. Do you think he got to the old birds too? Explains their half of the story, not matching mine. Definitely. His powers seem pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well, at least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all the money? Well, uh... Creating an Esper? That seemed like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it, it's been 10 years, remember? Since then, Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Esper's. In fact, the information you have is likely the predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? If that information was in the back of your closet for 10 years. It sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all the time. Wait, is Minerva a company? Huh, figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the old birds. They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory set straight. <laughs> For a price? Well, wait a second, I can't just keep doing this for free. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, I'll make sure you the old birds pay you. In that case, we can say my session was covered by my finder's fee. Finder's fee? Uh... See you two around. What now, Luna? Back to the study grind? No, you were right, Gabe. Doing a real job made me feel a lot better about this test. Well, it's not exactly Busan, but... You wanna go down the street for some drinks? Let's go! Let's do it! I could really use something sugary after expending all that mental energy. Talking about sugar, I probably should get some energy drinks for tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Should we bring the Neurodiver? I guess we have to. We aren't really supposed to leave it alone. It'll be fine. We'll just say it's an exotic fish or something. And how many are going to believe that? Let's pick a bar on the darker, louder side then. Look at our character being all smug. Or Ah, uh, that's it. Not even an hour? Man. I mean, that's fair. We could go for another run. But I don't know. There's not much choice in this. But I liked it so far. I'm very, very interested to see how the full game will be. I think I have it on my wish list. I'm pretty sure I do, in fact. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because I was a big fan of uh, Read Only Memory, uh, 2064 Read Only Memories. And this is, I don't know if a sequel, but uh, another game from the same guys at least. So I will mark that as completed. Oh, actually, uninstall first. Completed. No, not completed. Beaten. Damn it. Well, too late. Uh. I don't know. I think that'll just be a short stream tonight. Well, it's not even night here, it's evening, but, uh, <laughs> you know, 
Um, so I think I'll just uh, just leave it here. Uh, well, I did say I won't do horror tonight. So I won't. But tomorrow, on Halloween, we're going to do uh, 12 hours of horror. We're going to play... Uh, what's it called? The Callisto Protocol. I have that downloaded on my PS5. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Potentially might be playing a demonologist with Swar and company. Depending. Depending on how long Callisto Protocol is. Uh, I looked at Google and it said 10 hours. So I'm hoping to at least finish the game. I probably will die a lot, so it might take more more than that. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see indeed. There's also a Pokemon if you all want to catch it. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow, 12 hours of Halloween. <laughs> no, 12 hours of horror. Uh, no one game a day. Also, no one game a day on Wednesday, of course, because that's for balding. So Thursday and Friday are the only other days for uh, for the one game a day games. So today I'll be at my parents for F1. And Sunday I'll be late for the uh, Alan Wake American Nightmare. We'll be, we'll be starting. So... Yeah, that's basically my weekly schedule for this week. I'll keep you all posted if anything changes. I don't think they will. But who the fuck knows? Things might happen. <laughs> Either way, what will happen to the Pokemon? I mean, I don't think anyone will catch it because no one has done the Pokemon <laughs> catch. Not even I. I think I have it. I do indeed have it. All right. Thank you all for joining me for this uh, pilot memory episode thing for Read Only Memories Neurodiver. Much love. And I will see you tomorrow for some horror. 12 hours of it. I hope you all are excited. I am. Surprisingly. All right. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.